Hello, this is Andrew from Sprock DCC. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give a quick introduction to the Sprock family of products. The original commercial product shown here from the early 2000s was designed to connect to a PC serial port and so the name Sprog for serial programmer was coined. As serial ports became less common we switched to USB. Now, almost 20 years later, the Sprog is still the go-to solution for decoder programming using Decoder Pro and we have a range of products to suit a variety of situations. Many early Sprogs are still in regular use and we are still supported by the latest versions of software and operating systems such as Windows 11. We take pride in our products and the service we offer. As hinted at in the previous section, members of the Sprog family are designed to be used with a computer and are well supported by a JMRI software package, of which Decoder Pro is a component. Other compatible software is available, but is not supported by ourselves and is beyond the scope of this introduction. Windows, Linux and Macintosh computers are all supported by a JMRI and can be used with a Sprog. The Pi Sprog products are designed to connect directly to a Raspberry Pi, which can be used to run JMRI on the Linux Raspberry Pi OS. We will be creating content with a more in-depth look at JMRI and the Pi Sprog family, so please do consider subscribing to the channel and enabling notifications if you are interested. The Sprog 2 and Sprog 3 are very similar. They share the same features and capabilities apart from the maximum power that can be supplied to the track. The Sprog 2 is limited to 1 amp and is perfect as a DCC programmer, but also may be used to control a small layout, for example 3 or 4 N gauge locos, or 2 or 3 O or HO gauge locos, depending on their power requirements. The Sprog 3 can supply up to 2.5 amps to the track. It can still be used as a programmer and also as a controller for a layout with more locos running or for larger scale locos. We'll now take a closer look at the Sprog 2, but everything in this section also applies to the Sprog 3. As you can see, there are two connectors, one for the USB connection to the computer, the other for the power supply and track connection. The connection to the power supply and track uses a pluggable terminal block, which can be easily disconnected, making it easy to move the Sprog around should you wish. Sprogs can be used to program virtually any DCC decoder that is supported by JMRI, except for the very latest ones. The JMRI project is run by volunteers. New decoders from the most popular brands will be added quite quickly, but some more obscure brands may take a little longer, depending on the volunteer to create the required data. When it comes to sound decoders, a Sprog can be used to program the standard DCC configuration variables and adjust sound settings such as volume that are accessible this way. A Sprog can upload new sound projects in the sound decoder. Unfortunately, sound decoder manufacturers all have their own proprietary methods for doing this. We will be creating content with a more in-depth look at the Sprog 2 and Sprog 3, including full installation instructions and the first steps in getting started using the Sprog as a programmer or a command station. So once again, please subscribe to the channel if you are interested. Next, we'll take a look at the Pi Sprog 3 and the Pi Sprog 3 Plus. The Pi Sprog 3 has a similar functionality to a Sprog 3, but plugs directly into a Raspberry Pi computer. The Raspberry Pi power supply is not sufficient for driving a layout, so the Pi Sprog 3 has its own power connector, as well as the track connector. The output can supply up to 2.5 amps. The JMRI software allows the Pi Sprog 3 to be easily switched between programmer and command station operations. The Pi Sprog 3 Plus has two connections to the layout, each of which can supply up to 2.5 amps. The JMRI software allows these to be configured in different ways, as a programming track and the main track output, as two main track power districts, or as two main track power districts, one of them having auto-reverse. The Pi Sprog 3 Plus also features a CBUS interface for layout control. CBUS connects modules together using CAN bus, an industry standard widely used in automotive and industrial applications. CBUS was originally developed by members of Merg, the Model Electronics Railway Group, in the UK, and members may purchase a range of CBUS kits. The combination of a Raspberry Pi and a Pi Sprog can be used to create a fully functional standalone DCC command station. The Raspberry Pi Wi-Fi can be configured as a Wi-Fi access point to allow mobile phones or tablets to be connected as throttles or cabs without requiring an external router. The Y-Throttle app is available for Apple devices and the Engine Driver app for Android. 
Both are fully supported by the JMRI software. A fully configured operating system image is available for download through our website. Instructions for creating the images are also available for customers who wish to understand, customise or create their own images. The Sprogner now is a simple device that connects a computer running JMRI to a DCC booster, allowing the computer to be used as a DCC command station. It has a USB connector and an output connector to the booster. No power supply is required. The DCC output allows connection to boosters that have opto-isolated inputs or non-isolated boosters with a common ground connection. The Sprog Nano has no programming track functionality, but it can be used for ops mode or programming on the main on a layout with a suitable booster. So that concludes our quick look at the Sprog family. I hope it was informative and explains the differences between our various products. If you have any questions, please drop us an email or use the comments section below this video. We also have a user group and there are many Sprog users willing to answer questions on forums such as RMWeb in the UK and around the world. Similarly, if there are topics you would like to see covered in more depth or new Sprog related topics you would like us to cover, please get in touch. Please consider subscribing to our channel to get notification when new content is released.